If I click on one of these links, I can have it open up over in this other note space that I've got over here. And so I'm navigating here and I'm seeing the content over here. Hey, it's Chris. Today we're gonna to be talking about getting the most out of iPadOS 17. First, we have to talk about the new, better, redesigned, reimagined stage manager, which lets you have up to four windows of varying sizes and you can position them more or less wherever you want to now, which is really paradigm shifting. As we explore these new features, I'm gonna drop in some great tips here and there. But first, let me just observe, I think a lot of people when they think of multitasking on the iPad still think of it kind of like this, two split screen windows that you can kind of resize a little bit. But things have improved so much if you haven't been paying attention. So here I've got drafts open up in the top left. I've got Apple Music open down in the bottom left. I've got a note here in the middle, and I've also got Safari open to one of my favorite coffees over on the right. And this is one of my favorite iPad OS 17 screen setups right here, kind of for writing, for researching. I can reference things over here in Safari. I can write about it in Apple Notes. And if I have any observations, I like to store those, just get them out of my head with the drafts. And I like to keep those observations separate from my actual notes. And then music, you gotta have some music, obviously, while you're working, so that's there. But because you can only have four windows active on a stage or on a screen at one time, it's helpful to know that not every app can have multiple instances open. You can have a bunch of different Safari windows open in different stages, same thing with Apple Notes, but an app like Apple Music can only be open in one place. So like I just showed you, I've got that open on this stage here, but what if I wanna switch over to this Freeform setup here where I've got files open and I've got Freeform here, but I want some music. Well, this is really interesting. If you slide over and you see this sidebar here with all the little previews of your apps, I can actually grab any of those individual apps out of that little preview and drag it right into a new stage. So I just yanked Apple Music out of that first stage and drag it onto this one, and I already had it set up so that it would fit perfectly in place on this new stage, kind of fun. So let me drag that on back over here because I wanna talk about what one of my favorite mental models, ways of thinking about Stage Manager has become in iPadOS 17, and that would be to use stages as sort of sub focus modes within a focus mode. So if I have my work focus mode enabled, that's great, it's gonna cut out a lot of distractions, but within that work focus mode, I've been using different stage setups as sub focuses. So I've got one for writing, I've got another one for doing research. Sometimes, you know, you just wanna come back into full screen mode. Other times, maybe I'm doing some idea gathering and I'm putting stuff together, but I also wanna watch a YouTube video at the same time. So in the big picture here, while I'm in my work focus mode, this set of apps, this stage is a sub focus, this is a sub focus, this is a sub focus, and then just use those three finger swipes to get into and out of those subgroups, those sub focuses, this has been a game changer. So what I'm talking about right now is less the feature itself, the functionality, which is great with these four apps that you can rearrange however you want on a stage now. That's great, but it's the way you think about it, how you implement it, where you can really get that extra juice. Now, as you can see, I'm in free form here and I've been prototyping an idea for a new thing that I might wanna be working on. Still love using the Apple Pencil, still love using my paper-like screen protector. It just doesn't feel right working with the Apple Pencil on the iPad without the paper-like screen protector. So I'm gonna mention that here. Great way to upgrade if you haven't already your iPad experience. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about linking your notes together in Apple Notes. I was so excited for this feature to hit. I've literally been waiting for it for years. So when I heard that it was coming, when I saw it with my own eyes, I couldn't believe it because the ways that I was thinking about putting this to use have finally become not just dreams, but reality. And I wanna show off some of the ways that I've thought about using the linking of notes. Now, I'm somebody who has a lot of pinned notes. I keep a lot of notes top of mind over here on the left, but sometimes that gets annoying because I've got so many pinned notes that every now and then I have to go back and like delete some of those pins just so I can scroll down to my actual notes a little bit faster my notes kind of get buried under the pinned notes, and that's annoying. So now that I can link notes together, a concept that I've been playing around with is having one pinned note that links to all the other notes that I wanna have quick access to, and it really frees up my pinned note section. And then I can go in too and kind of format this a little bit differently. It's not just plain text, I've made it a little bit bigger, like a headline, and then I've linked to it, and I've given each one a description, so I'm actually being a little more productive as I'm thinking about the list. It's like my table of contents for those important notes. So already, there's one really cool practical benefit, just freeing up some of that mental space and actual space 
within the top of my notes app. Another cool use that I think people could use this for would be like for tracking their goals. So, you know, short-term, medium-term, long-term goals, actually turn those into things that you can check off. If you have that enabled, it will just mark stuff down to the bottom of your list. So without having to use another app to track this, you can have your goals front and center, but you can link to the details, your research, you know, different web articles that you've pulled in, for instance, have all that handy, but then just see a top level overview. That's a really cool use. So absolutely some really creative uses to help you push your notes even further to get more done to sort of compound the value that a single note can have. Because now your notes don't just live by themselves. They don't just have to be organized with smart folders, although that's really cool. And that's something that I cover extensively in my productivity course, learning to be productive, which helps you get more done in less time with less burnout within the Apple ecosystem. I'll link it up down below if you're new around here and you haven't checked it out. But while this doesn't give you a knowledge graph of sorts, like you're gonna get with Obsidian that shows you all the little connections, you are gonna be able to build your own navigation with this hyperlink kind of structure set up into your notes. And what's really cool is you'll notice if I click on one of these links, I can have it open up over in this other note space that I've got over here. And so I'm navigating here and I'm seeing the content over here. Really cool. I should point out too, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask if you're liking the wallpaper, you kind of like that cyberpunk futuristic aesthetic. There's a ton of wallpaper packs on AI Art Walls, my new wallpaper store. Dot com. Definitely some unique stuff that you're just not gonna find anywhere else. But let's talk a little bit more about Apple's Reminders app. So if you go to the iPadOS 17 preview page, down at the very bottom, there's a little paragraph that says, here's what's new with Reminders. And just barely mentioned is this little sentence that says there's a new column view that organizes your sections into columns across the screen, making it easy to visualize your tasks. Well, let me translate for you what that actually is, because I think this is a bigger, cooler thing than what you might initially think. That's basically Apple importing Trello, the idea of a Kanban board, right into Apple Notes. So here's just a sample Trello board, a Kanban board, and you've got all these different columns, and each column is made up of different cards, and those cards can be moved between the columns, and you can color code them, and you can add some photos. A lot of people out there love and rely on their Kanban boards. And actually, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that's just how I'm gonna say it. It actually is something that started at Toyota a long time ago with physical cards that you would move around. This is also something that I've talked about extensively in my productivity course. So if you really wanna learn how to get the most out of it, you could check that out. But I'm just gonna pull up reminders here and you can see I've got this set up with four different columns, course upgrades, new courses, course marketing. And this is just sample content here. But what's cool is I can grab a card and I can drag it to one of the other columns so I can easily get an overview of where things are at. Sometimes people like to use these for production. Maybe you're producing content. You've got your first column that is to be produced. You've got one that's in production. You've got one that says published maybe, and you drag your cards in between or you check them off. A couple things to point out. If I take two fingers and drag them down in a column, I can easily and quickly select multiple items that I might wanna review or move to another column or make some changes to. Also, you see some pictures in some of these items. You can take a picture and just drag it, this is from the web, and attach it to any of these items here real quickly and easily, and that's nice. You get the full thing if you click on it. You can see I've got some hashtags or just tags. So really powerful. I mean, you gotta wrap your head around how to get the most out of this. But I'll show you how to get this set up. It's really easy. This is actually just a fake list that I created here, a work list, and I'll go ahead and hide the sidebar. And what you do is you create different sections here. Here. So I would come up here and I would say, add a section. And that's what I did for course upgrades, new courses, course marketing. And once you have those, then you can come up here to the three dots and say, view as columns. And that's how you get this Kanban look. In all seriousness, those three features, the more flexible window placement and management in Stage Manager, the ability to link notes in Apple Notes, and then that Kanban view, which was super under the radar in the announcement, those are the things that are gonna help me get so much more done. Those are the things that I love the best in iPadOS 17. But I also like the ability to have these new interactive widgets here to be able to come in and say, mark stuff off right out of this widget here and not have to even get into the actual reminders app. That's a big deal. So here I've got the small Apple Music widget here as well, and I can just hit play, and it will actually start playing a song. We've got the volume turned on, obviously, so I don't get copyright struck, but it'll start playing without me having to open up the music app and dig around in there and find something and get it going. So much faster. I can't wait till that spreads to other apps like my Brain.fm app because that's still old school. If I hit that, it opens up the app 
in order to get it going. It's just clunkier, right? It takes over the whole screen. I've talked a lot about the new PDF features the ability to edit PDFs, mark them up within an Apple Note now, not having to do that in a different app and then re-import it, and it's kind of a dumb PDF where you can't interact with it, those days are over. And that's actually really cool. I'm actually thinking up ways that I can use ChatGPT's code interpreter with my PDFs and then combine that with some markup in Apple Notes. And let me know if that's something you're interested in. There's so many more features that I could dive into in the same way that I have in this video. So if you're an iPad user and you love this stuff, let me know if you wanna see more content like this down in the description. Also, I hope that you subscribe to the newsletter. It's the only place where you're gonna get free wallpapers from the new design packs. So get subscribed, look for those free wallpapers. Don't forget to check out the course. So many nice comments already. People seem to really actually be loving it, getting a lot out of it. If you don't know a lot about productivity, but you want to be more productive, you wanna get more done, you wanna take control of your life, start accomplishing things, tuning out the distractions, this is the course for you. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.